So now we have the plan. Be honest, it hasn't been the best experience. We are ready for another video and uh, in this video I really wanted to try something called lovable.dev and uh, you probably heard of it but it's a AI tool where you can create web apps. Uh, but let's start with the idea. Okay, so my idea is that I really want to uh, create a AI travel planning tool where I will integrate a uh, Google Flights API and a weather API and then in the future maybe a booking.com API. And uh, the idea is that I want through some inputs to be able to actually plan out where I want to go. I uh, might want to have it be um, very sunny. I might want to go at a certain time and uh, something like that. And then I want different suggestions. And then when I go into each of them, I can go into depth. So uh, let me quickly show you what I'm going to build. And uh, before I... Uh, will kind of show you the idea. Uh, this is the uh, app I'm going to be using. It's called Lovable. Okay, so the steps are as follow. I want to uh, first use key T. And I want to use that because I want to create the perfect prompt for Lovable. I want to use some APIs as mentioned, and it's going to be the Google Flights and then also maybe a weather API. Then I will create a flow for the user. So flow, and in that flow, you are going to be able to have some input fields. So let's quickly have it here. We have the input, and it could be like the uh, airport. It could be the uh, preferred weather. So not destination. And then the, like, the type of experience. Could be, do you want to go to a city? Do you want to nature, beach, uh, any cultural things? Then the um, period of travel. And then lastly, the budget. So now we have the plan to test out the lovable product. And I haven't made any design. I haven't done anything. I uh, will have it tell me everything that I need to do. And also quickly, I am probably be going to be using maybe two to four hours, depending on how much time I want to use on it. So let's see how far we get. We might fail, but uh, let's test it out. Okay, so I've been at it for one and a half hours and to be honest, it hasn't been the best experience. Uh, one of the reasons is that it's really, really, really slow when I am uh, writing and getting prompts. So I think I've been using 45 minutes just to write the same thing over and over and being like, this is not working. I keep getting a failure. But what I managed to make so far is it uh, created a uh, quick landing page. I set up uh, a login or authentication system. I set up a backend using Superbase and uh, we also managed to make a preference site so the user are able with some inputs to say where they want to depart from, when and uh, what kind of weather and um, then you can uh, click that this is what you want to do and then it will redirect you to a results page. and. Now I'm trying to do the whole API thing, so I am trying to get ChatGPT or OpenAI to work, but it's not working at all right now. And I am solely using the uh, chat in the Lovable Dev tool. So maybe if I code it, I could maybe change it up myself, but I'm just trying to use the tool. And I, I'm even on the, the paid plan, it's the cheapest one. So maybe, maybe if I, buy a better one, better one then it will not take as long because this is really boring and it's not really working but I'm gonna check out from now uh, for now and then I think I will try to continue uh, tomorrow I don't have any more time today so that's the update right now so it's been two days in the last clip I was uh, a bit frustrated with the, how it turned out with the um, chat but 
let me quickly show you what I actually managed to do afterwards and how much time I probably used on what I achieved. So uh, let's have a look at the computer. And yes, I'm sitting in my uh, pedal cloth. I'm going to be playing in around one hour and uh, I'm watching the good old Mark Lou, his newest video and um, he just kills it. He makes everybody else seems like lazy people. So uh, let's crush it, crush it this year. But uh, now we'll look at what I made in Lovable. Okay, so now we are on the computer and uh, as you can see, this is Lovable, the chat, as you saw previously. Um, but I finally made something and I think I probably used maybe two, two and a half hours more. And um, I managed to uh, put in four different APIs. So uh, you have to chat with the Lovable, but this is the uh, landing page it made. So I can click on start planning and then uh, I will have this authentication layer where I can log in. And uh, when I log in, I am automatically redirected to my overview page of uh, my travel preferences. And these are all stored in the um, Superbase uh, database. So if we go into Superbase, which integrates with the um, with Lovable, then uh, you can actually see the tables here. So it has helped me create profiles, travel preferences and travel uh, suggestions. And uh, whenever I go in and I try to create a new one, then I can say I want to travel from Copenhagen because I'm a digital nomad and I don't know where I want to go. I want to go between these two dates and uh, then I can choose different budgets. Let's just put it at balanced. And then the idea is that I don't know where to go, but I really want to go uh, to a sunny place from Copenhagen. And then I can uh, write some additional notes and this is integrated with my open AI uh, API key. So if I save the travel, then I can see this is my preferences and then it will send it to open AI and it will load the suggestions. And then, as you can see, this is a gallery with images. That is the Unsplash API. And all of this was really easy to implement. I just asked uh, how to do it. And uh, I can even just click on a button and then paste the API key and it will implement everything for me. And then I can see like the budget uh, range and I can see, okay, the average temperature. And uh, there is some uh, rain. So I don't know how accurate it is, but I guess it can be sunny even though it's not very warm. And then there are some attractions and it comes up with some dip different options. It seems like it's giving me the same options each time. So I could probably use some time on improving, but I can go into one of them and explore. And then I also try to integrate it with the YouTube API. So let's say this was some sort of affiliate project and uh, I really wanted people to want to go to this destination at that time. I could implement the Google Flights API so they could see what it would cost them. And then some travel videos here so they can see, oh, this is a very nice place to go and uh, then book the tickets, the hotel, everything. That could be a project in itself. The weather is also from a, um, with the API and I mean everything works fine sometimes I get some uh, bugs but overall I think I achieved some pretty cool things with the authentication layer and um, being able to create something new based on some inputs use different APIs like OpenAI and the weather API and also the um, Unsplash API and of course the YouTube API. In what three, three and a half hours. I think that's uh, pretty cool. Do I think it's ideal for actually running SS? I still think you need to be able to learn how to code because let's say I would write something in this um, chat and then it could just completely ruin it or it um, don't understand what I want and then I can't remember what I made two days ago and yeah, it, I think it could be not the greatest idea to solely uh, use this as of right now, but 
On the other hand, I still think you could achieve a lot of a lot from it if you build a simple product. Don't touch too much upon it, and then uh, try to sell it. So I would definitely try it out, and um, I'm going to explore and experience uh, more of these tools because I think it is the future, and I think being able to prompt and um, know how to think logically, you can achieve a lot of the same things as somebody who are able to code. But I still think we got some way. If you know any other projects that are like doing a great job, succeeding with building stuff with Lovable and earning a lot of money, please share it. I would love to see it. And also if you have any tools you want me to try next, let me know. And uh, other than that, I think this is it for the video. In the next video, I am going to reveal something very nice. So uh, stay tuned for that. Remember to like and subscribe and then uh, I'll see you in the next one.